using the yes and no and or commands. The user can mark attributes using the yes and, no, or or commands. Each of these commands affects how the data is processed in different ways and is valuable in different ways. The following module gives examples of each. Click the brush icon on the toolbar to clear all existing marks. Using the Yes command, click the small plus box to the left of flowers, then click the small plus box to the left of flower color. Using one of the five methods of menu marking, mark yellow as yes. A Y mark now appears to the left of yellow, and the number of species remaining is reduced to 25. We have said the color of the flower on our plant specimen is yellow. Clear the mark using one of the five methods of menu marking. Note the number of species returns to the original number, 72 of 72. Marking more than one attribute in a menu with a yes mark causes the attributes to be combined as and. For example, mark both yellow and purple as yes. The number of species remaining is now much fewer than when only yellow was marked, 2 instead of 25. We have said that our flower is both yellow and purple in color. Clear both marks using one of the methods of menu marking. Using the NO command, click, not double click, white so that it is highlighted. Using one of the methods of menu marking, mark the attribute white as NO. An N mark now appears to the left of white, and the number of species remaining is reduced. We have said the color of the flower on our specimen is not white. Note, the number to the left of white still shows some remaining species. This is due to the fact that no marks eliminate only those species that are marked exclusively for that character in that menu. To eliminate a species that displays more than one attribute in a menu, all attributes for that species must be marked as no in the menu. Using one of the methods of menu marking, clear the NO mark on white. Note the number of species returns to 72 of 72. An excellent place to use the NO command is in the Family menu, where entire families can be eliminated. Using the OR command, right-click the word yellow, mark it as OR. A red OR appears to the left of yellow, and the number of species is not reduced. A single OR has no mathematical meaning. Using one of the methods of menu marking, place an OR mark on yellow-orange. A blue OR mark now appears to the left of both selections. We have said that we are unsure of the color of the flower, but that we are sure that it is either yellow or yellow-orange. Clear both marks you have made using one of the methods of menu marking. Click the small box with the minus sign to the left of flower color to contract the menu. Using the images for OR marking. Click on the words petal tip in the flowers menu. Illustrations of all the types of petal tips appear in the right pane. Click on the illustration for bilobed and select mark OR. A new window opens showing all the petal tips with a blue box around the illustration of bilobed. Bilobed also appears with a check mark in the menu on the left. Click the image Toothed. It is now surrounded by a blue box and also became marked as OR in the menus when clicked. Click OK. An important note. Be sure to use the OR technique any time that you are unsure of the exact answer. This is very helpful for highly variable attributes such as leaf shape, plant height, and characteristics open to interpretation like flower color. Click the brush icon in the toolbar to clear all the marks you have made in the menus. Note the number of species remaining returns to 72 of 72. Please watch the next video module titled, Selecting What Species Information the Program Displays.